getting tricky with it. Na 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 na. But first, we need a game plan. A game plan. Choose the right substitution. Is that how you spell choose? Make a sub and don't forget the DX. Algebra, then integrate. Fourth, triangle and back sub. How do you choose your sub? Well, you choose with these guys. Bam. You want to rid yourself of roots when you're doing trig sub. So, if you have a squared minus x, that's going to be the sine a theta. Let's go to an example. This guy. If we're integrating 1 minus 4x squared dx, then we first need to fit it in the form, meaning that we have a 1 in front of the x. That's why I'm factoring out that 4, so that I have a 1 fourth minus x squared, so that it's of the form. Now just leave that 4 alone. We need to find our a. Da -na, da -na. Since 1 fourth is 1 half squared, then a is 1 half, which makes our x one half sine theta. All right, so we gotta get our dx because we don't want to forget that part. So that's one half, the cosine theta d theta. Then what? We transform our integral into that guy, not forgetting my dx, my one half cosine d theta. I put everything in its place. And now, ooh, ooh. then what happens? I also pulled that one half out front. Okay, good. Now, that's the only trig identity you remember. So you use it 1 minus sine squared. That's the cosine squared. But wait, the root of a square, that's the radicand, man. So I eradicated that root, root, root. Cosine times cosine, that's cosine squared. Theta d theta, now what? Ugh. It's that reduction formula. Which one? The cosine squared reduces down to one half of one plus the cosine of two theta. For sure, for sure. And then we throw that in there. Because we're about to integrate the antiderivative of that one. That's going to give you a theta, because we're integrating with respect to theta. And then that's one half, the sine two theta. Check differentiation. Yup. Nailed it. So now, we need to go four step and make that triangle. So I'm up here. Where what? It's the original substitution. I've drawn an arrow from it. That's the sine of theta is 2x over 1. Fun. So we label our triangle. And then to get the third side, we use our Pythagorean theorem. And that's how I ended up with, whoa, whoa there. I'm going to catch that in a second. I know that that x should be squared. But what? Boom, right here. How do you find that theta? That's the inverse sine of 2 theta. Why? Because you're working backwards from that triangle. So you need your theta. So that's the inverse sine of 2x, if you will. OK, wait, wait, wait. I could have also written the inverse tangent of 2x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. That would have been fine, too. Those are the same answers. I'm just trying to find my theta. Or I could have written the inverse cosine of whatever the cosine would be. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. I could have even done the inverse cosecant. But I'm choosing the inverse sine because it's the easiest on the eyes. Let me just get rid of this stuff. Okay, good. So now it's plus. I'm doing my back sub. Ah, but what did I need? I have a triangle for theta, not 2 theta. So I use that trig identity. Which one? This one. The 2 sine theta cos theta. That's the sine 2 theta. Now what? I'm going to read off of my triangle. What's the sine? It's the opposite over the hypotenuse. And what's the cosine? It's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then I reduce. Ah, I just, yeah, I put those squares on there. Yeah, squares. Squares. Now I reduce. And you're done. Plus C. It's all over. But the box and flower. Ah. I don't know what that little back piece was. But whatever. What should your answer look like? Should look like that.